Charles J. Hamm and his wife Irene are people who care deeply about Brooklyn and its residents. Their passion to give comes from a long history of service and philanthropy within their family. Charlie never knew his grandmother's uncle, Father Giuseppe Francioli, but in his work with BCS and his extraordinary service to Brooklyn, he walks in Father Francioli's shoes. An immigrant from Ticino, Switzerland, Father Francioli reached Brooklyn in the 1850s. He established a hospital, a youth service organization, nursing college, a bank, and in 1878, he was one of the founders of the Brooklyn Bureau of Charities. Some 70 years later, the Bureau merged with the Brooklyn Children's Aid Society, which was founded in 1866, and together, they became what is now Brooklyn Community Services. Recently, BCS was pleased to have a conversation with Charlie at his home in Connecticut. When Giuseppe Francioli came to Brooklyn, they were almost the same issues. Different folks, but almost the same issues. After so many years of government effort to help education and welfare and family formation and housing and things, we still see the same problems challenging citizens of Brooklyn and other places. My aunt Peggy Everson uh, was, she was one of the early graduates of Vassar, very, very much involved uh, in all charitable uh, functions, but importantly, and really as a primary interest, then the Brooklyn Bureau of Community Service. I began to get re-interested in Brooklyn when I took the Brooklyn job uh, at the bank. And you can't be a community banker without being knowledgeable and committed to everybody in Brooklyn. When I left the bank, we were doing business in 34 foreign languages. I mean, we, we knew we were in most major neighborhoods and helping a lot of uh, folks who needed job training, who needed health support. And the more I did that, the more I got interested in the effectiveness of it. And one of the obviously great interests of uh, Peggy Everson was to get me into the Brooklyn then Bureau of Community Services, which was her preeminent interest. You, you don't refuse somebody like Peggy Everson. Not only was she my aunt, she was important to those efforts. So I agreed to do that and then I became chairman. And it's a great organization and it's helped thousands of people who genuinely need help. Nobody's fooling around here. These people really need help. I think that his portrait hanging in my, in my office it epitomized what one person can do for others, what individual effort can do. He reminded me every day with, through his portrait of what one person without excuses can do just by trying. Francioli did it, he did all those things, and he kept doing them until he died. That is a major, major uh, lesson for me. I think it's important to live your life as though you were going to have a legacy. Live your life as though maybe somebody I helped will remember. Um, but it doesn't make up for what you're living for. What you're living for is today's betterment. And that, that's, you know, that's about it. BCS is delighted to announce that the board and community room in our new headquarters will be named the Giuseppe Francioli Legacy Room. And we are proud to honor Charles and Irene Hamm with the 150th Anniversary Philanthropic Leaders Award.